Hello, welcome. What is the trick to getting the narcissist out of your head for good? You have to make a really strong concerted mental and emotional effort to cut them out. Not passively, but actively. Think of them as a cancer. When you have a cancer, you remove it. That's what they are. They need to be removed forever and never let them back. In order to get rid of the narcissist from your mind and forget about it completely, follow the 12 steps I will explain now and get the narcissist out of your head for good. 1. Get no contact without exception. 2. Start watching videos about narcissistic personality disorder on YouTube, including our videos H.G. Tudor, Dr. Romani, San Vaknin, Claris, and many others. Watch them every single time you start thinking about anything regarding the narcissist. At some point you will become hooked on these videos. That's when you need to train your brain not to watch the videos or talk about narcissism anymore. The purpose of watching these videos all the time is to retrain your brain so that you are not obsessed with that individual. So that you understand that you have been deceived and cheated on, and to continue to want to be with this person is really bad for you. 3. Make a list of all of the mean things this person did to you. Understand how confused you felt all the time. Become very clear about any physical abuse that you hid from anyone. List all of the cheating episodes, all of the verbal abuse, any financial abuse. Become very clear about what you've been through and you'll never want to go back. 4. Between the videos and the realization that you've been treated like garbage and that nothing will change from this person, you will begin to heal. As long as you think this person can heal or that interacting with this person does you any good, you are in a trap. 5. Seek help from a comrade or a professional who has deep knowledge and experience in these matters and tell the person that you believed you were in a relationship with a narcissist. If they tell you that you are not qualified to make that diagnosis, find a new expert. It doesn't matter if your diagnosis is accurate or not. It's what you feel and what you believe, and they need to support you in the fact that you have been abused. Do not become so focused on narcissism that you lose track of the fact that your one and only goal right now is to break free of being a victim. At some point your thought process has to shift from being a victim to just being a person. A healthy person. You need someone to talk to that's not a friend or a family member. They are too involved. 6. Start making a list of things that you have wanted to do for a long time. Things that you can do alone. Start doing them, even if they are just little things. Let's hear what one commentator has to say on this point. One of the first things that I did before I even realized I was with a narcissist is that I bought lamps for my bedroom. I didn't realize how controlling he was. I kind of did, but I played along because I didn't want the rage and anger. I needed lamps for the bedside tables so that I could read before I went to bed. I was not even allowed to have lamps, so I bought some lamps and I felt so good about them. Little things, big things, whatever things. Things you do alone and things you do with friends. 7. Do not interact with anyone who is still in contact with a narcissist. I don't care if it is someone you feel like you can trust. You have to end all of it. Anyone who is still communicating with your ex will not understand your situation and will not be able to be loyal to you. It's time for new social interactions. This part can be really painful because you probably just want people to understand and hear your side of it. It won't do you any good. Even someone who says they understand can be convinced by the narcissist because they lie constantly and they're really good at manipulating and lying. 8. Pick up meditation, prayer to get better, spend time in nature, revisit old hobbies, and do whatever it takes to come back to yourself. 9. Spend time journaling. It's a good way to get out all of your feelings.
Do not express your feelings on social media. It's inappropriate, it's unhealthy, it's risky, and it exposes you to other people who cannot help you. Make lists. Make lists of everything that's good about yourself. Make lists about things you want to do. Make lists about goals. Make lists of things to do to maintain your body or your house or whatever. Make lists of what you want your new life to look like. Make a comprehensive list of what you would like in friends or partners or lovers. When you make that list, make sure that you're able to provide every single one of those things you expect from another person. 10. If you feel up to it, exercise. Don't let your body go, but also don't become obsessive. Avoid alcohol or drugs. They aren't good for you. 11. When you're doing something or thinking something, ask yourself if this is good for you and if it moves you forward. If it doesn't, do something else or find another way to think about things. 12. Finally, read. Read a lot and mostly focus on your critical and analytical thinking skills. There's something about the narcissist that keeps you hooked, and that is cheap dopamine, which you get every time you think about the good times. It's not so easy to always convince yourself, so instead of always trying to make sense of the situation and cause more overthinking, almost feels like strengthening the trauma bond. Do and consciously focus on things that give you real dopamine and acknowledge the freshness you feel afterwards. Additionally, the more you get used to critical thinking, the more you can think of fresh perspectives to finally let go. In summary, over time you will realize they are in your thoughts less and less, and that even if they do come to mind, you will feel little to no reaction. The process does not travel in a straight line. Some days will be easier than others, but eventually you will break the trauma bond fully and the cognitive dissonance will disappear. You will feel like yourself again, except this time stronger and wiser. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay connected with more content about narcissism and personality types, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay curious, stay strategic and remember, the journey of understanding ourselves and others is an ongoing adventure. Goodbye.